I've been talking about Jasmine recently. Well, I talk about Jasmine every single day. But recently, what I've talked about was if Jasmine breaks this level, we're going lower. All right. And if Jasmine breaks above this other resistance, we're going higher. That is what I've talked about recently. Now, finally, today, you know, we broke down. Right, we had a breakdown, went all the way down to around 25. All right, very close to my 24 target, very, very close. Now, you guys are looking at the price of Jasmine right now, and you are asking, Is this the confirmation that the price of Jasmine is going much, much lower? All right. So the answer is this, yes and no. Now you guys may be confused, you know, yes and no doesn't really make any sense. Let me explain it to you guys. We did break 27, but uh, breaking 27, you know, gave us a confirmation that a price of Jasmine was going to go down and we did go down. But the difference is this guys, all right? We needed to close the daily candle below the resistance. We needed to do that. And that didn't happen. So this was the drop. And this was the daily close. All right. Do you see how quickly this drop was bought? All right. This is not good for the bears. This is not a candle. I look and be bullish on the downside, all right? I wouldn't look at this candle right here and increase the probabilities of the price of Jasmine going down. You know, if you, if you are a short-term bull on Jasmine, like you are celebrating this daily close right here. Like this is very significant, all right? Job is not done, but this is very significant, guys, because... The price went down, but, you know, the bulls are like, no, 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 no. I, I don't think we, you know, I don't think we're ready for this thing to go down. Like, we want to keep the price up for a little longer. You know, that is what's going on right now. So, you know, if you look at where Jasmine is, uh, if we bring back the support again, like, we are exactly where we were yesterday, you know, before this drop right here. All right. So this is, you know, this is telling right now. Now, you know, we are still back inside the same range. Uh, nothing has changed now. You know, this right here would have changed, you know, the outlook if, you know, this daily close, you know, would have been below this resistance. But, you know, if you look at where we are right now, like there's really, I don't think there's anything I'm going to say to you guys that's going to be any different than you know, this update right here. All right. Do you remember this update from yesterday? Right here, guys, this update, like, I don't think there's anything now that I'm going to say to you guys, that's going to be, you know, any different. Like I don't have any new information. You know, the new information was this daily drop, but the daily close, you know, it was like, you know, we're not ready to go down. What are you talking about? You know, sending us back to where? No, we want to stay up. So I'm looking at this right now. All right. And, you know, I'm basically looking at the same Jasmine. All right. This is a great place to be a buyer in the short term. And you want to take profits right here until proven otherwise. All right. What I want to see is, you know, if the price is actually going to go down. Like, I need to see a daily close, but what I would really, really like to see is a weekly close. You know, a weekly close is more stronger than, than a daily close. Same as, you know, if the price goes up. You know, I want to see a daily close above this resistance, but what I, what I would really, really want to see is a weekly close, guys. Because a weekly close has got more data. You know, I'm looking at seven days of price action, you know, seven days of data. Where a daily close, I'm only looking at 24 hours of data. 
All right, so I personally need to see a weekly close. I would like to see, you know, one of these weekly close above this resistance or close below the support. All right, it's really that simple. Now, if I'm looking at the weekly MACD, like there is no way I'm bullish on something that looks like this. All right, there is no way, guys, I'm bullish on a weekly MACD that looks like this. And because of that, you know, if you ask me, what is the price of Jasmine more likely to do? You know, I say the price is more likely to go down, but that's my opinion. All right. What I want to do is I want to be a trend follower. You know, I want to follow the market. All right. If you ask me, what is your opinion based on the weekly MACD? All right. I tell you that the weekly MACD is bearish. And I'll tell you that I'm bearish because of the weekly MACD. But again, you know, I don't want to insert my opinion because you know, it's just an opinion. You know, I want to look at the chart. I want to interpret what's actually going on. And I want to look at real data. And this MACD right here. This is not something that screams bullish. This is not something that I'm proud to see. Like, I'm a Jasmine holder. All right. And could this be a fake out? Absolutely. But it looks like this is going to be a long pullback. And if this thing is going to pull back, you know, I am afraid that the price of Jasmine is going to pull with it and probably come all the way down here, guys. Now, if you're a long-term holder, you know, you should be a buyer. And the reason you want to be a buyer is simply because if you look at the monthly, if you look at the weekly, even with a major pullback, Jasmine still looks very bullish. All right. There is nothing to be afraid of, even if we were to come all the way back to these lows. All right. And going back to those lows, this is what type of, you know, this is the type of move you're looking at. You know, you're looking at another 50% drop going from the top of this rally. All right. This is not the end of Jasmine bull market. This is only a big opportunity for you guys who are looking to add on to your position. All right. This is a big opportunity, guys. Very big. Does he have to play out? Doesn't have to play out. But, you know, let's see. All right. So far, listen, Jasmine looks really good. Uh, this is a 200 moving average. Clearly, we are above the 200 moving average. All right. The last, let's, let, I mean, I want you guys to take a look at this. All right. We spend the entire bear market trading below the 200. And in late 2023, you know, finally broke above the 200 moving average, retested the 200. And this was the beginning of a 10x. All right. We have done a 10x from the 200, I believe. No, we've done an 8x. All right. From the 200, we've done an 8x. So if you want to, if you want to identify an uptrend, you know, without having to do a lot of work, simply wait until the price breaks above the 200 moving average. Minimum. Wait until the price breaks above the 200 moving average. Very simple, straightforward. All right, you don't need to complicate the system. You don't need to complicate the process. You know, you don't need to, you don't need to be a genius. The 200 daily moving average, guys. That can tell you if you have an uptrend or you have a downtrend. That can tell you if you need to stay away from the project or if you need to jump into the project. But again, in the short term, all right, I am nervous that Jasmine could potentially drop all the way down to retest, you know, these levels right here. It doesn't have to, but the reason I believe that is simply because of this daily mag, uh, of this weekly MACD. And if you look at almost every single project, the weekly MACD has had a long pullback to retest 
the zero line or very close to the zero line, including Bitcoin and Ethereum. So hopefully that's helpful. That is Jasmine. Uh, I don't think I have any 